Stop the FOMO. Do you have a fear of missing out on the Samsung S95B because it's so cheap? Or rather, it's almost suspiciously inexpensive. And so now you're thinking, wait, should I get it at all? So today we're going to go and explain why is the Samsung S95B so cheap? so inexpensive. Ever since the S95B was released, it's been praised for its awesomeness. But the most popular question I receive and still continue to get is, why is it so cheap? What are we missing here? So today, I'm going to share the answer with you. But first, let me introduce today's sponsor, WhoKeys. Yep, you just finished your big old PC Windows build. You have the best of the best. And sadly, you have less than $20 to your name. WhoKeys to the rescue. Use my code SF20 and immediate discount. Let's quickly go through the activation process after you've purchased Windows 10 on WhoKeys. Go to your WhoKeys account and select My Purchased Orders. See your order? To the far right, click on the button that says View Keys Codes to see the Windows CD code. At the bottom of this order where it says Code Card, to the right is the product key you need to activate Windows. So copy this long number, then go to the Windows menu and click on Settings. In the Settings menu, at the bottom, select Update and Security. Select Activation, then select Change Product Key, paste what you copied from WhoKeys, click Next, click Activate, and you're done. You can download the Windows 10 Pro key, and you're up and running. But that's not all, folks. WhoKeys has keys for games, too. Steam, Origin, you play, you name it, you got it. Check out their sites. There are discounts for all sorts of stuff. And most importantly, you want to be productive? What about Office Suite? Yep, you can download a copy of Office Professional with my code SF20 at checkout and bam. And before we get into why Samsung is pricing the S95B so low, you might want to check the prices in my video description below to see, well, how much is it today? Because <laughs> Samsung has been aggressively pricing the SNI-5B. Only two weeks ago, some of our viewers were able to snag it for $1,400. We're talking about the 65 inch because Samsung was doing a promotion with its partner companies for employees of these companies. They were able to buy it at $1,400. Samsung is definitely able to sell these things cheaply. And let's get into why. Now, to better understand the context and the surprise many are showing of the S95B's pricing model, we have to understand that the S95B is a next generation technology TV. We're talking QD OLED. QD OLED is Samsung Display's latest and greatest OLED technology. It is a step above LG Display's current OLED technology. The QD OLED technology from Samsung Display, first time anyone's seen it in consumer hands, and it has been phenomenal. I love the S95B, I love the A95K, and both have been universally praised for its color accuracy, brightness, and all the good things that come with a flagship level TV. Now, here comes the surprise. Okay, flagship level TV, the S95B. The Sony actually pricing is consistent with its flagship level. $4,000 MSRP, now it's down to 3,500 for the 65 inch, but the S95B from Samsung, $2,000 with some promotions bringing it down to $1,400. <laughs> Within only months of its release this spring, they're promoting this flagship level TV for under $2,000. Okay, the question is, one, how are they able to do this? Why are they doing this? And the answer to that question starts with this theme. Think, taking, a play from the TCL and Hisense playbook. Keep that in mind. We're gonna get back to it. For Samsung to create a whole new line of TVs, like the QD OLED line, right? They need 2 million units. Now, think on that. That's a lot of TVs. Why 2 million? It's to offset the cost of marketing this whole new lineup. And when I say marketing, it's very broad. We're talking all new buzzwords, like Neo QLED. Those are all new words, right? Someone had to get paid to come up with the word Neo QLED, video advertising, floor space, you're gonna pay Best Buy, have an all new display for Neo QLED, and so forth and so on, right? Websites redesigned, new lingo, new everything. This marketing expense has to be offset by the number of TVs sold. Well, they need 2 million TVs to be sold in order to justify the cost of this all new marketing push. Then, what happens if they have the TVs that they have to sell? 
with no marketing? The good news is the TVs are less expensive. In this case, QD OLED. QD OLED, there isn't 2 million units to sell. As a matter of fact, I think they have like 500,000 units to get sold and only two sizes. That's not even close to 2 million units to offset the cost of marketing. So there's no marketing. But if there's no marketing, that means the cost is significantly less. Let's bring in TCL and Hisense again. All right, TCL and Hisense, that's always been their model. Barely any marketing costs. Yeah, you know, there are a few advertisements here and there, but they're mostly banners, right? You don't see floor space at Best Buy. That's expensive. You don't see all new lingo or buzzwords. Very generic, which is like the S95B website. Very generic. It just says OLED. I mean, as if no effort was put into that website. And well, no effort was. We were wondering from the very beginning, why is there no marketing? Well, the answer is there's not enough units. This is why Samsung approached LG Display to buy OLEDs. LG Display, boom, 2 million units. You want 2 million OLED? Boom. That was what Samsung needed to justify its entirely new OLED lineup. And they were hoping maybe they could squeeze QD OLED into this new lineup. So the QD OLED could be on the top of that stack. And then LG's other OLED is lower in the stack. As far as Samsung's concerned, it's one giant lineup. But those negotiations fell through for whatever reason. I mean, I have my speculation, or maybe Samsung was just too cheap, right? They were too hard-fisted wanting, they wanted LG Display to sell them the OLED panels for less than what LG Display was selling it to themselves, right? The LG C2 and G2, they wanted to buy the panels for less than what LG was selling to make the G2 and C2. So obviously that was a non-starter. But regardless, without those 2 million units to constitute this new lineup, the QD OLED was left without a marketing budget, which means it's following TCL and Hisense, word of mouth marketing, right? Influencers, reviewers. Now, how firm is Samsung about not marketing the S95B? Very firm. So firm, in fact, that if you go into any Best Buy and ask them, why aren't you putting the S95B out here because it's so awesome? They will tell you, we're not allowed. It's supposed to be in the back. And this is why the marketing budget that Samsung pays to Best Buy is allotted for specific models the Neo QLED, the QLED, whatever those are, that's been paid for. They do not want to mix that marketing budget with the S95B. So essentially what you get is a TV of this high performance marketed like a TCL 6 series, a Hisense U8H, U7H, what does it matter? Now you see the S95B at that price, it's actually a fair price, once you take away the marketing layer. So I love this approach. I love seeing an awesome flagship TV priced like a TCL Hisense without the marketing layer. What are your thoughts on this? Is this a new trend that you guys are excited to see from Samsung? Once marketing gets their hands on the QD OLED, expect prices to go up by 50%. Until next time, stop the FOMO. <laughs>